we are given two interacting particles whose center of inertia is at rest. So we have two particles m1 and m2 and their center of mass somewhere is at rest. And it's given that m2 is half m1. So that gives the position of center of mass, the initial position. Now we need to find the trajectory of particle m2 if m1 is traveling on this path. So what is the trajectory of m2 if the center of mass always remains at rest? So I just enlarged this diagram here. So m1 initially was here and m2 was here. And it's given that m1 is heavier. So I have drawn it bigger. So these are smaller and the, it is double the mass of 2, which means the center of mass will divide the line joining into the ratio of 1 is to 2 like this. Center of mass will be nearer to 1. Now, as it moves along the trajectory, we will just draw the straight line from every path, every position of 1. And then whatever is that distance, the double that distance will be the particle 2. So, we will just do that for all the points and you will see that the trajectory comes to be like this. So, we can notice from here that both take sharp turns together. So when one is taking a sharp turn, two will also take a sharp turn. And after that, one is going in kind of a straight line, then two will also continue to go in a straight line. Now, you can also imagine that as they go further and further, the two is going to travel with double the distance than one, because this ratio is always one is to two. So if this goes by distance dx, this will go by distance 2dx. So that's another thing we can observe. And this kind of behavior is observed in the heavenly objects. That's how they interact in space. So like two stars or two galaxies, they interact in such manner. Yeah.